Hello, everybody. So General Mattis came out and said one of the most shocking uh, pieces, I would say, of discovery, <laughs> for lack of a better term, that I think has ever been said. As somebody who studies this and is a student of foreign policy, that has ever been said since former general and then uh, Republican President Eisenhower had ever said about the military industrial complex and how we are militarizing and privatizing the military, thus pushing our troops farther into war by putting more profits into it. And all my sources are in the description box below. So this is according to the Marine Times. I'm just going to quote what they're saying with some interesting quotes of Mattis, and then we're going to break down kind of what that means and put this in perspective. Okay, so here's what they say, quote, during the online conversation, Mattis went on to describe the lack of direction the Defense Department had when he first took the job, recalling that he had spent the months before his confirmation requesting a defense strategy from the Joint Chiefs of Staff and then Deputy of Secretary of Defense Robert Work. Eventually, on his first day on the job, he directly asked the leaders where the defense strategy was. And here's a quote by Mattis, quote, The chairman looked me in the eye and said, We don't have one. And we haven't had one in 10 years, Mattis said. Another quote. It was a strategy-free environment, Mattis said. It is not that now, and I'm hoping that he can adjust off the strategy with that we've written. Okay, that's a really confusing sentence. What he's talking about here is the next Secretary of Defense. He is hoping that the next Secretary of Defense is able to utilize Mattis' strategy, which we don't really know what his strategy is too much, like the details in terms of... Of, uh, of what he's talking about, but we do know that he wants to demilitarize, which is the next quote. Quote, over the last 25 years, we've over-militarized our foreign policy, and he is going to have to deal with that, Mattis said. Later on in the article, he talks about how we need to devote more of our investments in terms of like the Defense Department into diplomats. Now, let me go ahead and, and put this in perspective. Right now, we have a bigger military than the next 12 countries combined and most of which are our allies, if we cut our military budget in half, we would still have more than uh, Russia, China, North Korea, Iran, and Iraq. Okay. Half of our military budget right now is devoted to private contracting companies. Roughly $300 billion. Would you like to take a guess on how much the diplomats take up in terms of the uh, Defense Department budget? 50%, 60%, 30%, 50%, 60 30%, 10%. And they're the ones who are avoiding or getting us to avoid war. And that's how much they're getting in terms of the defense budget. Yeah, I would have to agree with Mattis. This probably isn't a good strategy moving forward. So maybe militarizing our foreign policy as much as it is, maybe that's not the best idea. Maybe there's other ways to prevent war than war itself. And I'm going to take this a step further. If you actually cared about the troops, you wouldn't keep throwing them into wars they shouldn't be in, like Afghanistan, when something was already leaked called the Afghanistan Papers that had shown that we don't even have a strategy there. People are risking their life, and we don't have a strategy on what we're even trying to accomplish there. So maybe caring about the troops is trying to hold them back and not have them risk their lives in situations where they shouldn't even be in. Food for thought. 